Okay, I'm Angie. And I'm Ryan. And we are Happy, Happy Healthy Vegan. And we're gonna do a little um Ryan's always eating inspired um version of Happy Healthy Vegan here. Do a oh, little yeah. mukbang of kind Ooh. of make um Memorial Day yes. type. It's Memorial lunch Day here. weekend, people. So obviously the corn. Uh fresh from farmers market. Yeah. Mm hmm And then at um also farmers market we got some um avocados oh, and yeah. lettuce here on top of the Beyond Burgers yes. on sale at the market for Couldn't the holiday weekend. It. You know, holiday weekend they've got the Beyond Burger and the Pretzella vegan buns on sale, which we've never even bought these before. Yeah, so this is a Go. first for us at home. I can't remember the last time we even made a Beyond Burger When they home. first came out. Like months when and months ago. When they first came out, they sent us one pack. It's probably like, we were like last year or yeah, something. Yeah, it was a really long time ago. I also got some, like, some pickles on here, some mustard. I gave you some ketchup. Yeah, and to top it off, a little chips here from Beanfields. Beanfields nacho chips. Nacho it's a party. flavor. Oh, bean okay. bean chips. So yeah, let's have yeah. a little mukbang here All and right. enjoy a nice, beautiful Memorial spring day. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. I miss this flavor. You know, it seemed like the smell wasn't as intense when I cooked it this time. I don't know. But they re-engineered the smell. Yeah, we heard they said the, they were gonna. We heard about that being yeah. done. Oh my gosh, this is so huge. <laughs> So yesterday was eat, drink, vegan. Yeah. No. Yeah. We, we didn't get any burgers. No, we didn't. I saw all of our friends. This, if you don't know what eat, drink, vegan is, it's a big, probably the largest vegan festival I've ever seen. It's it in Pasadena you. at the Rose Bowl, and there were tens and thousands of vegans there. Mm -hmm. All sorts of food vendors and clothing vendors and beer vendors and wine. Yeah, like the front coffee. was the Green Saturday vendor market. And then inside was like all you can drink beer, wine, cider, uh, kombucha, cold brew, craft sodas. No juice. That's the one beverage I didn't see there. And we saw lots of friends are eating burgers. I go, oh man, I, want a, I just want a burger. I look so far out in the sun and, you know, all, all the fun <laughs> there. But we didn't get a burger. So mm -mm. that was the point of telling you about that. Mm -hmm. Here we are. We got the burger. <laughs> we got the burgers. Yeah, we got the burgers. Oh man. Wow, I got like I'm better at home. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm kind of glad we're saving our burger fun for right now because this is tell. delicious. I can't imagine <laughs> I found a more <laughs> delicious burger yesterday. Yeah, amongst all the other stuff we ate. Mm -hmm. Which we'll have a video about that too. Yeah, we made a vlog. I mean, we we filmed it. We're still we gonna edit it. Lots of editing to do. Mmm. This mm. bun is so good. Yeah. It said something about like use it within 48 hours or freeze it. That's like what, how fresh what brand it is. Was that? I never it's called Pretzilla. I've noticed they always put them next to the burgers, I guess because they're also certified vegan. Oh, cool. So whenever we've gotten like, you know how you get like a nibble when they have the testing? Oh, yeah. At the, at, you know, in the, in the aisles over there at Whole Foods. Yeah, it's always the on the bun, but it's like we only just get a tiny corner. All right, I've been nibbling the bun and the burger. Let me try some of this corn, some oh, fresh Whole Food here. I love bicolor corn. Mm. It's Even though it's not technically, just it seems like <laughs> summer. You got, you got corn, mm -hmm. you know, sitting I'm outside, and Andy's making a mess. I'm it's summertime. <laughs> Whoa, the corn's getting crazy. <laughs> Mm. Apologize now to those who are bothered how we eat and talk at the same time. It kind of speeds the video up a little bit, so you know. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Mm. I think I squirted you with corn juice. Uh oh. Does that make, make you a bad person? Uh huh. <laughs> Let me take another bite of this burger here. Mm. 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 I'm glad we did this. It's kind of an impromptu decision, mm -hmm. both to buy the burgers and to do a little mukbang here with y'all. Yeah. It was totally impromptu. Yeah, it was just like, hey, they're on sale. It's Memorial Day, right? Isn't that time you do this kind of thing? Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, this corn is juicy. I'm glad all four mm -hmm. of them fit in the pot. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Guys, fresh corn. Mm. I know it's cool to get frozen corn sometimes and put it on stuff, but mm -hmm. nothing compares to fresh corn. On top of it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And, um, yeah, we'll get them at our farmer's markets, but, um, do they have them at Whole Foods, too? What, corn? A whole corn on the cobs yeah, right now? Yeah, I mean, maybe not year-round. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, they like, should. It's, like, so crazy realistic. <laughs> now, I'm sure we could just 
I wouldn't want to because I want to eat it, but we just give it to anyone passing by on the street. You probably wouldn't think twice that it's a vegan burger. I wonder. Mm. They never would. Mm. I cooked mine. I like to douse it with soy sauce. And, that's what, and I put lemon pepper too. It's not really strong. I don't really taste it. Oh, did you so put much. that on both of them? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't even taste that. I guess it gives it a little extra flavor. Mm. That's Angie always making things just a little yeah. better. Oh, <coughs> thank you, babe. <laughs> Mm, mm, little, so good. little feast here, huh? Mm -hmm. mm. I guess that's what, super American right Is that now. what people do? Yeah. We're talking, we don't really understand how to <laughs> do holidays all that well. Yeah. Not just this one, but any of them. So I well, guess. you work from home, like yeah. the concept of mm -hmm. holidays is kind of funny. So if you figure know, people get festive, that could involve a variety of activities. And for us, mm -hmm. eating some good food, mm. enjoying life for a little bit out here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, the wind died down. Yeah, it's nice right now. The wind was crazy at Farmer's Market, you guys. Knocking tents down. Mm-hmm. Signs. Yeah, we're still not even done, like, being social media vegans today. We're just getting uh -huh. started. I just put out a video this morning with an interview I did yesterday at Eat Drink Vegan, me asking Brian Turner questions that I sincerely wondered about. Mm -hmm. Do vegans need to take protein supplements like mm. you know non-vegans do if they want to get really big and ripped and stuff so check that out and, but I did that this morning we're doing this yeah. right now and then later on this evening we're going to a grand opening of a new raw restaurant here in Long Beach mm -hmm. should be fun I think some other people are gonna meet us there under the Sun mm. oh my gosh yeah they probably saw the video of us going there like we got to go there in some of the soft launch phase. Yeah. Yeah. Your yoga teacher runs it. Heck yeah. Mm hmm. Mm, shouldn't do some fire dancing tonight. I'm crazy. I don't know if I want to vlog. I feel like I just want to, like, just be go. there and enjoy it. There's something to be said just to be in the moment. Yeah. Maybe I'll just, like, do some Instagram story. Mm hmm. That's cool. Did you know that? Facebook is now doing that live story thing now too, where like your story only lasts for 24 hours. Oh wow! I don't know, everyone's trying to get in on it. <laughs> you know, it all started with Snapchat. Everyone's jacking their style. Snapchat is getting jacked. <laughs> Almost done with one of the two corns. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man, I just squirted a bunch of juice out too. No, yeah, see, it's. I told you, it's a danger. Not good corn if it's squirting juice at people. <laughs> This is so good. We should have got two packs. It was like two for nine, but I just got one. It's probably on sale all weekend, I imagine. I'll probably yeah. run by there again tomorrow if we really need some more. Oh, we have two more pretzilla buns. Mm, oh, it's perfect. like they planned it perfectly, mm -hmm. you know? Four buns. You know how normally with food, like you end up with like... Like two patties and six buns. You can never mix and match yeah. the right numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. You guys, this is way better than I remember. I'm good. Because um, I like these Beyond Burgers. I mean, again, we don't eat these on any regular basis. Probably last time we had them were at um, Expo West, maybe, and back in Oh, March. yeah, you ate a ton. Yeah, mm -hmm. I forgot. You kept going back. I think I just had one half. Fair. But, I mean, to be fair, we were eating a lot of samples that day. So, I was like, half mm -hmm. of a Beyond Burger is probably my limit right now. <laughs> After all that diet and stuff, too. Mm. Cool, I'm glad you coming around because I've kind of mm -hmm. said you know not be sexist or anything it's kind of dude food you know oh, people dude, hate when you say that yeah you know, but it, more I know it's more dudes like the Beyond Burgers than than the it's females actually true mm -hmm. although there's always exceptions mm -hmm. absolutely you're we talking about Beyond Burgers yesterday with some girls that eat drink vegan and one girl's really into it another girl not so much but pretty much all vegan dudes I talk to like 90 percent uh, you know oh. it, are into it my non-vegan friend. Oh, really? Who's, who's trying to go vegan. Mm -hmm. A female? Yeah, she and her boyfriend go to Veggie Girls sometimes. Mm. And he orders that burger, and he's, they didn't know what it was. They didn't know any of the backstory, nothing. But he loves the Beyond Burger over there. And that is a success for mm -hmm. Ethan Brown and, and all the people over yeah. at Beyond Burger. That's why they made it. Not necessarily for us vegans. We're a small part of the overall demographics. For the typical meat-eating mm. person to get more plants in their diet and not mm -hmm. have to go to animals no yeah she said she's like eating more or less vegetarian right now mm. and she wants to 
this summer. She wants when she's like done with school. Less stuff. busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna help her, right? Go vegan. Yeah, she wants me to prepare like a one week. It's gonna be hard preparing a one week like menu plan for someone. I've never done that. Well, wow. once you I'm do that, well, you put it on YouTube for everyone else to try to follow. If they want to try a one week vegan challenge, she said she's willing to be like on the show. Wow, it'll keep her more motivated to like do it. You guys think comment about that. I know. You have this one week vegan challenge for I just, new. I new just vegans. don't want her to get trolled. <laughs> it's inevitable. Mm, Everyone gets girl. trolled. Everyone gets trolled on YouTube. Mm. It's the danger. I know. You put the Pope on YouTube and Oh he will most certainly get yeah. trolled. Anyway, Mother Teresa if she were around. She would have gotten trolled. Mm. Mm. You know what? No one trolled us yesterday in real life. That's what's cool about real life. <laughs> The internet, you know. Didn't get trolled. Yeah, it's so much. It's just more real out in the real world. <laughs> <laughs> Trolling is a primarily online phenomenon. Although, did you troll Brian Turner? I know you like to mess with him. He was suspicious of me when I said, "Yeah." Like I, I did, I Brian's did my, troll. I did my interview with him. Then I went to ask him. So one more thing. He's like, all looking at me. He said, "No, I'm not gonna do anything funny." Or he, he was suspicious. You love to tease Brian Turner. <laughs> you didn't say anything about how your calves are bigger than his. No, wow. we didn't talk about that. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, he did look at my um, biceps and point out things going on with him. Wow. Well, well, that'll be in the vlog. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I've been doing more upper body work lately. Not a lot. I'm not trying to look like him or anything. Just, you know, I'm not in playing more basketball. Mm. I don't mind having a couple more pounds of muscle on me. Yeah, well, we've both gained quite a bit of weight since we started the show. In a I good mean, way. Quite a bit. I in mean, a yeah. good way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think, yeah, we should mm -hmm. we're gonna do a video on that. Compare our bodies to like when we started the show, we're when we're eating way more raw. How we actually thought we were Looking at the photos now, maybe a, a little bit too thin. Yeah. Size zero is pretty small. Yeah. I mean, if you get any smaller, where do you go from that? Negative mm -hmm. sizes. So we'll talk about that in the not too distant future. Mm. No, squirty, so squirty. Mm -hmm. I probably could share some of my corn with you. I'm thinking. Well, I'm just looking at this and. Yeah, you're feeling intimidated. Yeah, it's kind of bum though. The burger's gone. I know, huh? <laughs> I'm trying to make mine last a little bit. Mmm. Mm. I like the way we eat. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, like yesterday before we went to Eat Drink Vegan, where of course we know we're going to be eating crazy stuff. We both pretty much were just like, they ate really clean. Yeah. Smooth, for me, smoothie and a big, big salad. What, what was in your smoothie? Bananas, <laughs> strawberries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did a apple banana uh, smoothie bowl from my book with some raisins and dates. That makes sense. Go to the event, the eating event with a mm -hmm. full but clean belly. Mm -hmm. yeah. They need all the crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had some carrot, carrot, orange when I got home. Ooh, slowing down. This slowing is a down very a filling bit. burger. <laughs> Almost a little tiny, tiny bit of Beyond Burger. Do I see a part right off. here? Oh, yeah, little bits of burger. <laughs> <laughs> burger bits. <laughs> uh, definitely. I'm going to take them up. Beyond Burger is um, Beyond Meat's invitation to go down there to their oh, corporate offices. Totally forgot about that. It's about maybe... 15 miles away from here. Dude, you gotta go. I also knew we gotta go, yeah. And I'm um, sure the facilities, hopefully get a chance to have a couple minutes with Ethan Brown and- Oh my gosh. Bro has, down. Has Vegan Zombie gone there? He seems like the kind of guy that would do that. I don't think so. No, I'm shocked. Mm. Go there before they get too big and don't have time for us, like us little vegans. <laughs> <laughs> And people are getting crazy across the street. Yeah. I wonder if we should get crazy since it's the holiday weekend. Is this getting you know, crazy? what we did yesterday? This is kind of getting crazy for this us. This is getting crazy. <laughs> Don't let John Kohler know. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, speaking of like Rob <laughs> and John Kohler, like when we saw him <laughs> at Expo West, he doesn't watch our videos, but he sees the thumbnails apparently and thought, oh, I thought you guys are all into like eating like, like fake hamburgers and ice cream and stuff like that. It's like, no, I mean, we review them, obviously, but 
if you watch our videos, you know, like day in and day out, we're eating you know, whole food plants, like in Keep It Carb Baby, but yeah, we are not afraid to have some, you know, more naughty foods on special <laughs> occasions. Special occasions, like Memorial Day weekend, come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone else in the world is probably doing a hundred million times worse things for them. They're yeah, having a whole six packs of beer. I know, at <laughs> minimum. <laughs> every case. every couple hours. Oh man, that sounds <laughs> awful. And then all the meaty meat and stuff like that. So if we have some Beyond Burgers. You didn't even have a thimble full of beer at the beer festival yesterday, did you? Mm -mm, no. I know, I didn't have any beer either. No. Beer doesn't make me feel good. It was really warm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you were in... <laughs> hmm. Sorry, we're, we're in line for some sparkling champagne or something what was that oh yeah it was like a wine spritzer a white wine spritzer so i had a little bit of that it was good i didn't plan to i didn't plan to have any alcohol at all you guys are not not into it but it was kind of fun it yeah, reminded me of like iron horse mm -hmm. champagne you know however really clean flavor. it's been really clean so i don't drink alcohol my system is really really clean so even just having that little bit of it i can yeah. feel it oh Okay, it's doing stuff to my body that I'm not quite it? excited about. Like what? Do you feel acidic or something? It just doesn't feel right. I don't know what to say, it, you know? I felt like, a little acidic when like I Like, I can eat a Beyond Burger, which is mm -hmm. still processed, and mm -hmm. feel great. But, you know, even put, putting some booze in, you really notice it is... You know, that a, little thimbleful? Yeah, it was more than a thimble. It was like a small it's like a cup. like a shot glass. Yeah, a little bit bigger than a shot yeah, glass. Yeah, maybe bigger than a shot glass. Yeah, my body's so cleaned out, I could feel it's, um... It's like a, you know, a little toxic drink you know heresy you say on Memorial Day weekend right <laughs> I'm just saying other people don't know because they're toxified all the time but still I'll have some alcohol from time to time not like totally like straight edge or anything like that but well, you I know the first alcohol is here I just like to observe how things affect my body that's all I'm noting there not Pouring making any hair. not making moral judgments or anything no it's a health judgment yeah mm -hmm. a personal health judgment self personal judgment well, I eat it all, guys. You know, but I have a whole corn of cob. I cannot even. Man, you want me to do some work on that? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be so corned up. I know. I'll be a corn boy. Well, we'll ride our bikes to that thing later. Corn-based vegan. That was even though I'm super full now. I should go out for a little tiny run or something. Wow, with all that in me. That's I said, little tiny. It's really slow. All this corn jiggling. Mm. Corn fed, is that what they call it? Corn fed, guys, oh my gosh, yeah. Corn fed boys. Nice me today. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm slowing way down. <laughs> I don't want to stop though. Oh, if we have to take them all the way to the bitter end of this, no, do we? They love it, come on. They do it? Okay, well, if you want to keep hanging out with us, they'll keep filming. I'm trying to show them how I made it, of course, but. It's pretty easy. Called direction. Boil corn in boiling water. Uh huh. And the Much. Beyond Burgers, you just put them in the frying pan. Yeah, like I said, I splashed it with some soy sauce. There's already plenty of oil. You don't need to like to put any oil in the pan. It makes its own juice. Mm, put it in an iron skillet. Put some lemon pepper on there. Yeah, I'm gonna sneak a couple, a couple chips here. Sneak as many you want. Sneak a couple. Sneak up. Like I said, people are doing way crazier things than we're doing here. I can eat a few um, bean chips and vegan bean and rice chips. I know. Getting <laughs> crack crying. Don't let John Kohler see. Oh, I know. <laughs> Hopefully, he'll be there tonight. He might be at the opening because you know he's Mr. You know Raw, big mm -hmm. Raw proponent. So he went there and the yeah. soft launch loved it. So he said he's going to try to come back. He gave it his highest rating. Highest rating. Four point five. He never gives anything before. So he told the told the owners. I would have given you five if <laughs> you had a wall of uh, greens that you just picked from right there, <laughs> grown fresh. Right? Um, and they do the next best thing. They go to the same farmer's markets here that we do uh -huh. and buy from the good people, the good vendors. Yeah. Mmm, guys. I'm crying, crying. Now, John's extreme. He, his channel, <laughs> Grow Your Own Greens, right? Grow Your Greens. That's how we first heard of him. We were looking into, like, growing tomatoes in our front yard. And he's badass. He grows he his greens. In his front yard, he doesn't give a fool. Backyard, anywhere he can find yeah. a spot. Mm -hmm. Apparently, so, his friend Jake, who's traveling with him right now, does the same thing. That's what Cassandra was telling me. That well, someone I, else that does it? Well, yeah, I forget Jake's last name. Apparently, he's famous. I was like, I'm sorry, I don't know that much about YouTube. She's like, if you watch a show, you would love him as much as I do. He's got, like... <laughs> Some outrageous amount of like 500 fruit trees growing in his property. Whoa! So how big is the property? It like wasn't even that big. And I was like, she, you know, she like many others, like you should do that at your house. Remember, um, 
And John grows at all his front yard, his mm -hmm. backyard, indoors. I remember an well, older, he has a Las Vegas indoor grow. old episode. The uh, the Las Vegas Police Department raided his house. They were claiming he's growing marijuana illegally. Invited them all to come in, take a look. He's just growing salad, I mean lettuce, and you know I whatever. What they followed him from the like the. I think the hydroponic store to get yeah. some nutrients or some mulch or something. You, you can grow all kinds of things hydroponically, but they're just assuming, I guess, is he, he must have bought a great quantity of whatever. He probably did buy it, knowing, knowing how much he grows, yeah. Right, not soil, if it's water based hydroponics. Whatever he's so. getting at the well, store. I don't know what the growing medium is for hydroponic stuff. Yeah. Little did they know, they found a raw vegan growing a, an amazing amount of food in their house. <laughs> indoor collared plants and stuff. I know, indoor collared grow. <laughs> Illegal in the, within the city limits of Las Vegas. <laughs> well, apparently yeah, he got off, uh, obviously, he didn't commit mm -hmm. any crimes. I feel like you said he was even wearing a hydroponic brand shirt when they no, or sweatshirt. A sweatshirt or a cap or something branded with one of the hydro brands. That's so funny. <laughs> Fox Farm or something, who knows. I don't know, the whole hydroponic <laughs> growing movement has all been tainted by yeah. <laughs> I know. Like tomato farmers go to hydroponic stores too. We considered it. I was like, I want fresh tomatoes all year. <laughs> it looks like too much trouble to me. Or hydroponic tomatoes are growing a bunch of dope. <laughs> <laughs> hydroponic indoor growing of anything sounds like a big pain in the butt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well done. <laughs> now our tomatoes just keep growing, like just keep popping up in weird parts of our yard from all the mulch we've spread around. Yeah, we haven't planted any tomato plants, but they're all around our yard all here. Around. Check those ones in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, them you said one was red out here, huh? Yeah, we have a red tomato out there. Mm -hmm. I need to put some shoes on. Yeah. Yeah, look at it. Corn boy's going for it. I'm corn boy. Corn boy. Midwestern corn boy. <laughs> you do as a Midwestern family. I toast you. Mm -hmm. Well, kind of Arkansas. It's kind of more of the South, though. Oh, I guess it is. Yeah. You guys comment down below that know that region better. Uh -uh. <laughs> I don't know. We've never been there together. Yeah, I've I, never been there at all. I went to Arkansas when I was a baby. Like, is that when you went to the pickle factory? Yeah, I was like maybe oh. two or three years old, just barely old enough to walk. And I remember I went to the pickle, and like an old fashioned pickle factory, not what you'd see today, <laughs> something that was probably built in the 1800s or something, a Victorian pickle factory, maybe. <laughs> or at least really old. And I remember I had the, I just go, oh my God, this pickle is so amazing. I guess part of that, my mom just gave me those crappy ones from the supermarket. You know, they're old. I, love I ate a brand. fresh pickle, and I go, oh my God, pickles are amazing. How come they I don't are. eat these all the time but I never had a, a fresh pickle like that since. I'll have to make some pickles back. <laughs> oh I'm good. Somewhere around Little Rock or Hope or something like that for your Arkansas We're viewers. We're just two little girls <laughs> from Little Rock. Da -da -da. <laughs> mm. Have you seen that Marlon movie? Which movie is that? Um, I think it's Blonde. What was that? Jump for Blonde? Oh, Jennifer Ford Blonde? Yeah, because she's the blonde. Of course. And then, of course she's the blonde. I forget the other name. Woman's name right here, but she is, she's brunette. Oh, people don't know that Angie's a big Marilyn fan. <laughs> Marilyn has influenced her look and vibe. Like a little lost girl I roamed about, I came to New York. <laughs> I found out that men are the same way everywhere. I'm a lucky man to have a Marilyn <laughs> type. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Mm. Oh, I feel lazy after that. It's hilarious that we ate this before going to a raw place. <laughs> well, you know? things from like 4 to 10. I'd imagine we get there. I want to make sure we're full before four. we go there, too. Yeah. I mean, I don't really know how it's going to go down. Gonna go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought she said they would have some, in addition to buying food, they'll have some free samples of things. Yeah, I think she said there were going to be like some blue light special food deals or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, so she was saying, she's like, we're not going to announce ahead of time when it is. We'll surprise you. Like, mm -hmm. right now, we're blowing out such and such. I want some more of those kale chips they have. They're good. Yeah, they're pretty good. Not as good as yours, but they're pretty yours good. Yours were really amazing that you made. I don't think we even documented those kale chips when no. I was sick. Yeah, you're sick. I just whipped out Keep It Carb, baby. No, it's not in Keep it's It Carb. It's not. It's your personal recipe It's my that you personal have. stash mm -hmm. recipe that I really think I should maybe make like a raw PDF thing. Yeah. Something. Nothing that I would print. Just easy. I don't know. Like a little ebook. I know, but I want to get our album out first. It's hard. I have so many projects going on right now. We need help, guys. Oh. Anyone want to come intern for us? <laughs> <laughs> 
edit video. Mm. Help me with the t-shirts. Yeah, I know, the t-shirts. Mm. Mm. Well, I think we're, we did it. We ate the food. I think, yeah, mukbang completed. 25 minutes? Whoa. Wow. That's a mukbang. Yeah. Mm. Dang. Yeah, mukbang should be at least 15, 20 minutes. So we did it. All right. Mm. Mukbang in the can. <laughs> Yeah, in the count. So, if you made it all the way here to 25 minutes in, thank you for yeah, sticking with us. Woo. Congratulations! <laughs> and um, hit like if you want to see some more occasional or not so unoccasional mukbangs. From, random story time mukbangs. Yeah, random story time mukbangs from us here at Happy Healthy mm -hmm. Vegan. So hit like, comment down below. What did you think? We haven't really done a mukbang together before. I think I'm fat high. Fat high from all that burger? Yeah! <laughs> Have you ever been fat high? Comment, <laughs> let us know down there too. Just share your thoughts with us. We do read them and appreciate your comments. So I um, guess that's it, huh, guys? So subscribe if you're new. And until next time, as we've been doing, keep, keep it, it car, baby. baby. Keep, keep it car. Or fatted. Have fun. You know what? It's more of it. Spin it.